Hello good people, it's Tracy. And I'm Dan. And you're watching Midlife Memo on YouTube. My eyes are my eyeballs are leaking. Guess where we're at, Dan? We're at the Granger County Tomato Festival. That's right. We're waiting on my sister and my niece and anybody else that wants to show up, so see the traffic? We'll see you in just a bit. Let's go on in and see what's happening, right, Dan? Right. So let's find out how a tomato method looks. Let them see the inside of it. How is it? It's not bad. Is it not bad? <laughs> no. works of art because if you guys will look at this look at the sparkle on this I know there's a lot of you that are just gonna lose it oh, yeah. and we also do men's. look so. that looks like wood it is supposed and we paint yeah. that on there you all paint that on there yes. that is amazing and she was showing one that was like had real dirt in it yes. did they buy it <laughs> Dirt from his home. So that, it's like personalized to him. That is fantastic. So we will try to make anything their food safe, UV safe, so they will not yellow okay. over time. And use double wall stainless steel tumblers. That is amazing. I'm so glad that we ran into you all up here at the Granger County Tomato Festival. Now let's go and look at some of the goodies that they have. Do you have a website also? I didn't. No, we you have the Facebook, Facebook page. Facebook page right We're going to put a link to their Facebook page down in our description of this video. And I need you all to go and check that out. Show them some love. Let me go around the front. I need about four more hands today. Oh, and for my medical people, looky there. Ah, Denny. 
And they even have the little sippy cups for all of us grandparents out there. Great Christmas presents. Put your order yes. In the mail. Do no harm, but take no bull. Oh, I laugh. Yes. <laughs> the foul Bulus one was the one that caught my eye, guys. Now, this is from the Corrington Alignment and Brake Service. We have to remember to say that too. So that was their tent, but. You all have the goodies, don't That's you? That's right. <laughs> oh, this is my sister and my niece, Stephanie. This is the sister and this is the niece. Because we always go by the stuff. Anyway, and she actually got some soap, both of them, from Sherry's um, Clinch Mountain Soap. So we're going to be over there in just a few minutes. They're so good. Dan's on the phone talking to his mom, so. Spending the weekend with her, with her, so. Come on, Dan. See, there's a place for the kids. You know what I needed? My sunglasses. I can't see blooming nothing. Cake on a stick. Yeah, that's wrong. It's so many <laughs> let you see some of this good stuff there is the lemongrass spearmint honey oatmeal scrub wisteria lilac honeysuckle oh shoot I should have got one of them anyway creamy lavender <laughs> and she's even got some out here for us to see this is part of the what this is where we just cut it we just cut this soap we bake it into loaves in my molds. At your mold. And then we set it here. And you cut it. Oh! That is so super neat. There you and, go. and she's got, and this is the raspberry vanilla. <laughs> and what's the oatmeal scrub? You can see the little scrubbers in there for an exfoliant. Ooh! Now, we were talking about if there was a lot of people that didn't like patchouli, but I love it. And the pine bark, orange clove, jasmine, tea tree, mountain fresh, and raspberry vanilla that we showed you right here. 
Now, Sherry, you're going to be here to the rest of today and tomorrow, right? Yes, unless we sell out. She Wait could sell out. It could happen. It's going very fast. Yes, it is. And like I bought a whole bunch of it. I will show you all that later. I know that you want to see it. Now, we're going to go over here to see the, your husband. He's stirring the he good stuff. He's making real life soap in an iron kettle just like they did in the 1800s. That is awesome. Anyway, how many, how many years have you been participating in this? I have been making soap for eight years, but been here the 27 years for the festival. That's amazing, Sherry. You're awesome. We're going to go over here. Okay, sniffing's free. It's awesome stuff. <laughs> Hello, Sherry's husband. Hello, how are you? I am doing great. Sherry said that we'd come over here and videotape you. What are you doing? I'm, uh, I'm stirring the lard and the lye together. What was your name? I'm sorry. Daryl. Daryl, I know that. I'm, I'm stirring the lard and the lye together to get it ready to make soap. That is amazing. It goes through like three stages. It goes from a cream, a pudding stage, then it'll go to like a mashed potato, then it'll go to Vaseline. Is this mashed potatoes? This is a little between Vaseline and mashed potatoes. It's getting real close. That is amazing. That all of her soaps turn out like that over there. We had, we this had is a lye soap. The soap is over there that they make. The, the lemongrass, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Like she said, sniffing's free. Yeah. Have at it. See, it says lye soap right there. And this is a tradition. This is an area tradition that they used to do forever. And she's yeah. keeping this alive. And so are you. I think back like in the 1600s is when they first started making the soap, lye soap. Well, I love it. I love it. I've just absolutely, I've just bought uh, four bars of this. <laughs> That's great. But I've been trying to get uh, over to, you know, get with her to pick it up. I know that she's got it at Pratt's. And where else? I really don't know. I'll have to ask her again. Red and, Barn. She sells some at the Red Barn. Okay. You know. Oh, I forgot about that place. Gosh, it's been so long since we've been there. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks for putting up with this. And, and Thank you. Sherry does have a Facebook page called Clint, Clinch Mountain Soaps. And y'all can go there, and I'll put a link down in the description so that you won't miss out. Have a good day at you the too. festival. Sherry! Yes, ma'am. I'm coming back. I'm coming back. <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome that was fantastic um, tell them where it is that you sell your soaps when you're not at the festival Pratt's Market in Knoxville on Jacksboro Pike and Red Barn Produce in Rutledge on Highway 11W right up above the high school all right, I thank you for putting thank up with me. You. And you have wonderful soaps, and I'm so glad to have got mine. <laughs> thank you, Tracy, very much. We're going to go. Here, you can get with me. I'll get a picture off of this. We have to get a picture again. Yes, Hi. we <laughs> Hello. Hi. Goodbye. <laughs> okay, then. We're halfway through the festival, so what do you think? He's giving it a thumbs up, you know what that means. All right, let's keep going. I wonder if they would care if I got up there and sang the song, She Thinks My Tractor Sexy. Christopherson, the, the truck movie. Do you know what I'm talking about? No, not really, but I'm just, I'm, I was trying anyway, not to. Anyway, that, that was his name, and uh, his handle, he, he was called the Rubber Duck, and that was the. Ah, oh, the, people ain't gonna know what it is, because it's hard to see from the front. Well, it's I'm a rubber duck. I'm still. Or it's still, a deck. Yeah. It's a metal deck. And I got a steel with it. Did you get a steel? Okay. I got a steel with it. Okay. 
talk to me about it, see if they'd let me drive it, see if I still got my touch. They can't let you drive it for insurance purposes. Sevier County Antique Tractor, Tractor and Engine Group will have its eighth annual spring show, April 2nd, 3rd, and 4th, 2020. At the Sevier County Fairgrounds in Sevierville, Tennessee, the group will raffle a 1929 Maytag engine with ice cream freezer on April 4th, 2020 at 5 p.m. You do not need to be present to win. The raffle tickets are a dollar each, six for five, or 13 for $10. <laughs> looky, looky! I ain't gonna get close because we don't want to put nothing in there. They're making apple butter. How long does that take? From apples, yeah, all the way to food, about 10 to 12 hours. Wow. That is neat. How much is the apple butter? $6 a jar. Right there, you can get some samples. You can get a sample, but you know you're going to buy it. <laughs> He's an apple butter fanatic. Oh, did you hear that? Could he have some samples? And... Nah, Tracy, I just put Okay, can I have some samples? <laughs> I ain't going to turn them down. Every one of them was good. But I really love the cinnamon apple butter. But that this sweet potato. How, how about the strawberry butter? I've never seen it before. How about the strawberry butter? It was like somebody had melted it on a buttered biscuit. What? The strawberry. Strawberry is great on ice cream. It is awesome. It was awesome. That was good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I hate that I missed out, but I just put this in and I wouldn't. Look over Santa Claus. Mama. I ain't in line. Told you I knew. See him. Santa Claus. See him. Want me to come? Hold on. I will zoom in for you. Hadley, look, it's Santa. Told you I knew him. Big Indian Forge. Look. Indian Forge. And if you come over here, look, girlfriend. It was a great festival, guys. We went live on our Facebook page, or on my personal Facebook page, twice. Yep. And it was super fun, super. And we had a good. Now we want to eat. Yeah, we're wasting away, y'all. So uh, we had the fancy little French restaurant called Chonay's. <laughs> and we're going to get our feed bag on. Let's do it. All right. All right. Road that leads from the festival down to Cherokee Dam. Down there. Yep. Just an old country road. Oh, there's Yard Sailor Dam. Boy, that place is old, ain't it? Yeah. We used to come up here all the time. Okay. 
I used to believe that we created this channel so our grandchildren could look back on all the places we visited while they were just youngins. But more and more I've come to realize that these faces and places we so lovingly film are gifts for me too. One day, I may need to remember, and these moments may bring a smile to a weathered face. Life is about how you lived it, and I hope that you see and feel how much our home here in East Tennessee, all these good people and places, just what they mean to me. Thank you, Jesus. And thank you for watching. Our visit back to the Granger County Tomato Festival was a fun time. And if you ever get a chance to visit too, I think you'll enjoy this place. We'll see you next time.